Warframe. Warframe is a game that I have had quite a problem in the past and up until now I have loved. Now, it has a it wasn't always like this. Before I never bothered to give this game a chance. Sure, I went I quit, I went back, but I never actually gave the chance to actually love the game like I did with most. Now Warframe I do love. That is why you have been seeing more Warframe content on my YouTube channel. And with this I hope to review review the game in a good light, because I have seen multiple YouTube channels that have given this game a bad review for not playing as long, for not understanding the game, for not taking their time. And with that I've seen also YouTubers who have taken their time and understood the game. You can't have both, but I understand the people who don't like the game, but I also understand the people who do love the game, because I have been on both sides. Now, with Warframe I have really tr gave it this try once and for all, and now I have officially want to say I love the game. Warframe is a fun MMO like game, and I have played with friends, I have played with random people, and I really enjoy the aspect of be being able to have teams instead of playing against each other. Even though there is that in the game, I love this game for what it is, and I hope that this review can show people and give it a chance to try it out for those who haven't seen it. And I also want to try to get this review to be one of the best reviews out there, because many people do not know how to review this game for what it is, because it's, it's a free to play game. Now, free to play games have caused, have caused concerns in the past, but this one people love, and I can see why and understand why now. Before I just quit the game, when it first launched, I would quit, not play after a while, and even during some of the huge updates, like the, adding the ships and adding the Tannos, which is a big spoiler, I will talk about later. But I have finally come back for the game, and I've played it for about two, maybe three years now, and I can finally say I am a Warframe player now. I can see now that I was wrong for not giving it the chance it deserved. And without any more delay, let's get into this. But before, before I do, I would like to get into what Warframe is and how to play it. Please, hope you enjoy. Thank you. Warframe is an MMO-like type of game with, with combat of third, with third person shooter over the shoulder and hack and slash style combat. Now it's combat is different is different from many games like Destiny, where Destiny is a first person shooter. Warframe has different types of combat where you can use melee weapons varying from daggers, swords, knives, and guns ranging from bows, submachine guns, and and grenade launchers. And with this combat comes a deep has a deep root of modding, not not in the sense of modding the game to make it better and more fun like Skyrim, but modding in terms of making your weapons perform better and have different actions like poison, electricity, fire damage to enemies, or even mo adding more damage to different types of enemies like the Grenier or Corpus. Now there's not just the Tenno, but there's also the Warframe, which is the Warframe itself, the Tenno is the person operating it. Now I'm not going to explore too much of that in this video, but that will come later explaining the Tano's power. And with Warframe's combat, it's very easy to learn, very fun, and very quick. And uh, enemy types, it, ten it tends to vary in types of combat, which is something like this, which is a defense mission. Different enemies will be there to nullify it or keep, keep, the, ba keep the game balanced, per se. Now, Warframe can be also considered an open world game where you can explore open chests, where that has loot, and much more. But most of the maps in the game are small and cl in close quarters. But there is big open world maps like the Plains of Eidolon, and more that will be coming soon in future updates. The Plains of Eidolon offers much more exploration and and also much more things to do like missions 
and looking for resources like stones and even fruit or whatever it's it's a huge open world map that will add more in the future and we'll have future updates where there will be more planets with this type of map and feel but mostly most missions are just small maps so there is a little bit of exploring to do but it's limited it's limited exploration now Warframe has been out for I would say five years now maybe four or six at most now Warframe is also is also heavily relied on group work teamwork per se teamwork is important in this game to get anything done although you can do it by yourself I find it highly fun to do it with friends and it's very also it's also very very tedious to do it by yourself there can all there are always people there to help you all you just need to do is ask there's stuff like the recruiting chat where you can use to recruit people to help you with missions and help you with accomplishing stuff there's also ways to also earn all the resources you need to build weapons warframes and anything else such as such as augments but let's save that for later warframes combat can vary with the enemy types there are different enemies for every type of warframe that can handle and make the game balance now even though it's balanced that doesn't mean the enemies are strong you can you can certainly kill them with a strong weapon in the right mod setup now mods are very important to use for weapons and to use against enemies mods can really help the weapon's performance and increase how much damage it does or what damage does what now let's go into that now with mods come also the power to to change your abilities and stats of weapons now you can have electricity damage as I said before or poison or or even fire damage now these damages can also affect what it does to an enemy if it weakens them or or even if it m makes it much more easier to kill them now each now there's mod for every type of weapon and there's damage mods for every type of weapon again there's mod there's damage mods for guns and also melee weapons but the types of weapons are hard to explain there are so many weapons in the game so many that I can only show off so little in this video and I will I will talk about some but not all but the weapons I like to use are preferably are preferably not swords at least not yet until I get the most powerful foes in the game <laughs> let's uh, I'm going to talk about that in another video soon hopefully now let's go into the into the warframes now there are different types of warframes for every type of player I said. Each warframe has different abilities and sets of moves. And each warframe uses something called energy, which is used for moves. Energy is very important. And also each warframe has a different type of health. Every warframe is used differently for combat scenarios, such as my warframes, which you have seen in combat in my, in my videos. And here are the weapons and the variants. There are shotguns, there are shotguns, mini guns, bows lasers, na you name it. There is a weapon for everybody. There are some machine guns, there is also swords, ranging from, double so ranging from double swords, where you can hold two in your hand, and there's also there's also some machine guns, like like the ones I have shown in the picture right here. And there are also dual pistols, dual, and there's just so many weapons, it's just hard to talk about this all in one video. There's also daggers, knives, which, there's a weapon for everybody. If you don't like one, move to the next. And you can certainly find one that suits your style of combat. It is very important to equip mods to these weapons in order to do the most efficient damage as possible. Now, we go into more. Now the mods. Now there is mods for every type of weapon and every type of warframes. You can only use certain mods for certain weapons and warframes. Now most mods come in different styles. There are augment mods which help increase which help increase how your warframe performs and its powers. There are also war mods which increase or which increase more 
more of the performance. There's also power power mods which increase power performance, and there's weapon mods that increase weapon performance, and much, much more. There's ones for sentinels, pets, companions. There's even secret mods that you can use to unlock and see what certain abilities are. Now the map. Now the map is very important because there are certain planets that have certain resources. Not every planet has the resources you're looking for. It's very important to understand this. There are many, many planets with different maps, different missions, and different kinds of combat. There's missions that include spying or taking data. There are missions that include defense. And there's also missions that include also survival. There are so many missions in this game. It's so fun. And every every mission has resources for you and for your weapons. Now weapons here are free and everything. It's also important to understand the ship. The ship is where you'll be staying most of the time doing all your crafting, researching, everything. Now you can also have you can also have clans which are very important to collect certain weapons. This is where you'll be spending most of your time. You can also decorate it. Have decorations all over the walls, floors, and roofs. And there are many rooms that you can also customize in inside. Now customization is not limited to anything except to what you earn and collect and build. Many of the stuff that you can earn is during is during certain missions, which I still have not figured out the way to collect most of the items. Now in one certain room you could find a little person of Tenna which you will be controlling in a certain mission which I will not be spoiling. But this person can customize just like the Warframe itself. There are many different customization options. It's very it's very similar to what the Warframe is itself. Now there's also a secret room which you can get you can get during a certain mission. I won't be spoiling which one it is because I want I want everyone I want everyone to, to try this game. Now there are many missions, many missions, many, many missions, story missions, and side missions where you can do to collect resources. And this is just touching the touch of iceberg. I have not even gone through everything to do this. Is my quick review on Warframe 2018. Now I have made this video soft content of just informing you of what I love about Warframe, and Warframe is my favorite game here in 2018. Now I want everyone to know this, and please leave a like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.